subscription spot. We're having a look at the Nerd Block for June 2016. If it seems actually that spot just had a look at Nerd Block, I think that the last Nerd Block arrived a little bit later than normal, and then the, the Nerd Block for June arrived on time. That's why we're having a look at Nerd Block, June, or Nerd Block for June, so real close to uh, Nerd Block when we had a look at Nerd Block for May. If you guys are interested in getting a box of uh, collectibles, t-shirts, and more delivered to your house every single month, don't delay. Click the link down below, or you can head over to www.nerdblock.com. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. Again, this is the box for June. I got my knife Hank here. Old Red's just taking a vacation right now. We're going to get this cut open. We're going to find out what we got inside from Nerd Block for June. Let's go ahead and cut the tape. Just like that. Probably a little bit. There we go. Wasn't very successful the first outing, but try, try again. You'll be, you'll be successful. That's strong advice, not only for cutting boxes, but really doing anything in life. Inside, it's geek tested. It's nerd approved. Let's see what we got inside. First thing we are treated to is a Dorbs. This is Dorbs, Dorbs number 13, Guardians of the Galaxy vinyl collectible featuring uh, Star-Lord. Now this is Star-Lord with his mask, which I think when we had a look at these before, I had to look at the Star-Lord without the mask. So I actually haven't had a chance to pick up this one, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna add that to my collection of Dorbs. That's what it looks like on the back. Recommended for ages three and up. Warning, choking hazard may contain some small parts. Some of the Dorbs I like, some of them I, I'm not crazy about, but they kind of remind me of like the little people from Fisher Price. Uh, that's all the kind of stuff that I grew up with. So some of them, again, pretty cool. Uh, one of my favorites is the Deadpool. I really like the Deadpool Dorb. We are next uh, treated to a t-shirt. Let's see if we open this up, find out what it is. Oh, that's neat. It's a uh, rupee from uh, Legend of Zelda. Any number of Legend of Zeldas. Uh, with Link. I guess that's, what is that, more Link, like the Wind Waker Link? Maybe? Somebody somebody could probably tell me. Uh, also, this is an exclusive from Shirtpunch. www.shirtpunch.com. Save 10%. Use code Best Shirts. You can get one of these shirts here. Very nice. That's a nice schwanky. Oh, Spot bringing that back? No, he's not. I'm, I won't bring that back. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. We have a tube. It says made in China. Treasure map. I don't quite know. It would be awesome if I opened this up and it was like a genie and just went pshhh. One or three wishes. Of course, I've seen Wishmaster. I know that doesn't also go very well either. Let's see what we have here. Uh, it says Guile El Fuerto. I'm not quite certain, to be honest. I I mean, I look at this, and I know it's not, but it reminds me of Goonies. I don't think it is Goonies, but... And somebody will probably tell me down below. Well, that's pretty cool. Or, you know what? Maybe the card inside might tell me what it is. This I know. This is a Harry Potter Gryffindor crest bookmark. And that looks like it's, uh, is it metal? Let's find out here. We'll open it up. By the way, this is from, does it say who makes it? No, it does not. It does not say who makes it. I would have loved to have said this comes to us from the folks, but I guess I can't. Let's see here. Oh, now that's, ooh, that's nice. That is metal. On the front and back, Gryffindor. That is a really polished looking bookmark. Heavy, too, because this is, of course, all metal. And it comes in uh, kind of a faux, faux suede, not faux suede, but faux, like, velour uh, case. We'll close that up. Actually, I know somebody who is a big, huge Harry Potter fan. Huge! I'm going to give that to them. I'm going to put that right there. And we also have a coin. That says this is a Shire Post Mint, handmade in USA using traditional techniques, minted exclusive, exclusively for Nerd Block. This is a Game of Thrones Daenerys Targaryen Copper of Mirian. Oh, sweet! Let's see if we can get this 
Try not to try not to drop it. Let's see if I can get the coin out. Come on, coin. Come on, coin. Oh, look at that. Let's see if we, hopefully you can see it there. See that? Breaker of Chains. There's the back there. Queen of Mirin. Daenerys Targaryen. That is cool. Very, very cool. Especially being a big fan of Game of Thrones. That is right up my alley. Looks like we also got ourselves a large book. This is Tobin's Spirit Guide. Written by Ray, uh, Dr. Ray Stance, Dr. Egon Spangler, and Eric Burham. Illustrated by Kyle Holtz, official Ghostbusters edition. Let's give that a pander. A peruse, if we will. Now, it's not the spirit guide in the sense that it's a spirit guide from the movie, because it actually shows you the ghosts. It looks appear appearing to have the ghosts from the movie. So we've got the driver, the green ghost, a.k.a. Slimer. Oh, look at the artwork on that. I would love that on a t-shirt. Uh, we have the Librarian, a.k.a. the Grey Lady. Animal Spirits. Elemental Spirits. Confused Spirits. I guess they have other ones in here, too. Like, I wonder if... I uh, wonder if, like, Gozer and... Oh, I was going to say, Prince Vigo of Carpathia. Once what was will be, what is will be no more. Doesn't sound as good when I say it. I really like that. If you were to say price of admission, the price... Oh, there it is right there. Gozer, traveler and those who follow him. Uh, the price of admission, I think, for this subscription box is this right here. Tobin's Spirit Guide. Very, very cool. And let's see what we have in here. Got a couple of cards. Uh, sure Punch, $10 credit. New uh, card delivered monthly. Collect the set to receive $100 Shirt Punch gift card. And I guess you redeem this code at shirtpunch.com. That's for you. That's for anybody out there who wants to use that. That's my gift to you. And I guess you have to collect the whole frame. Uh, as for July, Nerdblock Classic will have a psych uh, psychotic exclusive from Suicide Squad as well. Transformers, an exclusive from Transformers, and Attack on Titan. As for this month's box, we had the exclusive Ghostbusters Tobin Spirit Guide. With the Ghostbusters reboot right around the corner, we're celebrating its release with this exclusive Tobin Spirit Guide. Now you'll be able to start your own paranormal investigation and extermination business and know exactly which creepy phantom you're faced with. It includes those classic seven meta specters. I wonder if the uh, Soler Soleri brothers, I wonder if they might have been in there. Uh, we have the Sure Punch. Uh, Legend of Zelda t-shirt in blue, green, and red. I got red. A Harry Potter Gryffindor bookmark. Exclusive. Ah, it was Goonies. Point for spot. Exclusive Goonies rolled map. When you and your friends are trying to unearth the long lost treasure of, the, of a 17th century pirate, uh, it's easy to get lost. Luckily, we've provided you with the exclusive map to help you find the treasure, invade detection by criminal family, families, and avoid booby traps. Families. And Dorb's Guardians of the Galaxy Star-Lord with Mask or Groot. And finally, an exclusive Game of Thrones coin. Which I guess I should have known that it was Goonies, because if you remember last Nerd Block, it said it was an exclusive from Goonies. So maybe I just... That was in my head. It was rooted in my head like that worm from Wrath of Khan. Ew! Oh, that's gross. If you guys are interested in getting NerdBlock delivered to your house every single month, don't delay. You can click the link down below and subscribe today. Today we're having a look at the NerdBlock for June 2016. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.